Welcome to Nitro. Today, we want to take you through creating and using templates in NitroSign Premium. Let's get started. Templates greatly reduce your preparation time by using documents with predefined form fields, approvers, signing fields, or additional receivers. We'll begin by first creating a template. Click the template portal on the top menu. Choose Create Template. Name the template and upload the files you'd like to create a template from. In this example, I'm a HR manager creating a new template for new onboarding employees. I'll add an employee handbook and a travel and expense policy as part of this template. Once uploaded, we'll be taken to the view that's similar to the package overview. We can predefine the package title, change the template name, put it into a specific document group or team, as well as manage the documents in the template. When adding forms or signing fields, we have two options. We could add the form fields here, which lets us add the form field type, fill in the details of the form field, as well as designate a contact. This method lets me place the form field whenever I go to use the template. So there isn't a predefined position of where the form field is on the document. Alternatively, the second option is to choose add form fields using the document viewer, taking me to a preview of the document where I can predefine the position of my form field, ready to go when I use the template. In both methods, it's optional whether you want to predefine the contact of the form fields. If we created form fields that didn't have predefined positions on the document, then the option to add them under the pending tasks would appear. I'll navigate to the signature document viewer and I'll add signing fields to the document, which works almost identical to how we created form. Again, if we create signature fields that didn't have predefined positions, they would appear on my pending tasks. The pending fields don't need to be placed now and serves as optional fields when the template is used. As the HR manager, I'm going to set the manager field to be signed by me and the employee as blank as I'm using this template for all new hires within our company. I'll click the right arrow to go back to the template overview and I can rearrange the order I'd like the package template to be filled and signed. In this example, I'm going to use sequential signing. So I'll need to first sign the document before a request is sent to the new employee. I can add receivers to the template as well as modify some additional settings such as setting and expiry for the request. Click Save Template to finish. You'll be taken back to the template portal where you can duplicate, edit, or delete your existing templates. Using a template is easy. Go back to the document portal and click Upload New Documents. Click the template search bar at the top and search and click on the template you'd like to use. Upload the files. And under the package and form fillers and package signers, we can see which fields need to be assigned to a contact. Note that any changes you make to this package won't change the template you created it from. Any changes to the template need to be done under the template portal. Let's complete this package by adding our contacts. By going into the form fields document view, clicking the field, I can choose the contact. I'll navigate to the signer view and do the same. Click the right arrow to go back to the package overview and click confirm to send the request. That's all for today. See you next time.